Hey guys, today we're going to be making a uh, Twitch chatbot, somewhat simple, uh, using Python 3.5, and it'll look like something like this. You see, it's going to be called Master Guns Bot, and uh, if someone says hello, it triggers Master Guns Bot to respond with hello and welcome to the channel. And of course, you can add on to that. <clears throat> so to start with, I, I like to... Um, start all of my Python projects with this template that I wrote, this ADT folder. ADT stands for abstract data type, but that's not actually what I'm using it for. It's more of any type of useful information at all for my app. So this is kind of the file structure of the templates that I always start with. Now it says Pygame template, but I'm not using Pygame. Alright, so let's open the template driver and if I run this it should just print hello world so basically this uh, it starts out with it either logs an error or runs the app so then if we run the app it opens this file which as you see prints a message of some sort imports constant so let's look at constant and the message equals hello world well that's not what it's going to stay as the first thing we're going to do is make a new file called config.py so that we can store some config options for our bot um, it needs a host and the host is always irc.twitch.tv in quotation marks. It's a port, and the port is 66667. And then it needs a password, which the password can be gotten from uh, twitchapps.com slash tmi. <clears throat> and you'll have to be logged in to a new Twitch account that you made just for your bot and then you can click this little connect to Twitch option and it will if you click authorized it'll give you something that starts with O A U T H and uh, I'm not going to use that right now because that's something that you need to keep private and we need a nickname for our bot, which is the account name that you made for your bot. And mine was Master Guns Bot. And then you need a channel variable, which is the channel that you want your bot to connect to. And my channel is General Dave. And then Control S to save that. And we won't use that. We won't need that anymore. So if we come back to our app.py, we can add from config import all asterisk. And this dot means that you're uh, importing from the current package. And in order for Python to uh, realize something as a package, you have to have this double underscore in it, double underscore dot py in the folder of the package. So, and then uh, every time you add something, you also have to add it here. So from dot config import all. And these state spaces don't matter. I just do that because it looks nicer. We're going to connect to the internet, so we need sockets from socket and again spaces look nicer import all so then within the app app itself we need to create a socket so self dot socket and you can call that whatever you want but equals socket and that is the socket class all right so now we need it to open a socket so we're going to go define open socket make a socket method open socket method and it in Python, every time you make a method within a class, you have to pass in self. And because I'm using Python 3, I can use type hinting. 
and basically type hinting is like uh, whenever you <clears throat> call this function somewhere it, it tells you what you should be passing in for instance math.sqrt it tells you well x but that doesn't tell you much these will tell you if I were to call this class that I should be passing in a string okay so we're opening a socket so we need self dot socket dot connect needs a host to connect to and a port to connect to and we put that in our in our uh, config file and then you always pass in the password first for some odd reason so self dot socket dot send pass space plus pass plus return carriage and because we're using python 3 we have to encode it to utf-8 you don't have to do that in python 2 Full space there and then we have to do the same thing for nick and channel and then it's not going to open if we don't tell it to open so self.socket within the init and then after we open a socket we need to join a channel so again we'll pass in self and we're returning none nothing join room we need a read buffer variable that we're going to set to nothing set loading equals to true to tell the app that we're not loading anything or that we are loading while while loading and this basically says loading is equal to true so while true is an infinite loop it won't stop until it's broken read buffer equals read buffer now i need to receive self dot socket dot receive buffer and again because this is python 3 we have to decode in utf8 and we need temp equals we want to split the buffer that we read in by new line character and then read buffer equals temp dot pop and for line in temp is basically saying for i in range of zero to when length of temp I plus plus line and temp if end of oops names list in line set loading to equal false so once it's done loading set it to false and stop the loop and then send self that send send a message saying that the bot has joined the channel but we don't have a send message function so we have to go ahead and create that def send message and always pass in self and we also have to have to message to send and that would be a string and it's going to return nothing so temp message equals and this is something you have to do every time you send the message so we'll just store it here and then we send it to the channel and we send the message and a return return carriage and then we have to actually send the message temp message and again it has to be encoded encoded to utf8 then we can have a little we can have um idle or whatever the terminal or however you're using the program give us a little message that the message has been sent print sent temp message okay so we haven't joined a channel because we haven't ran it so if that join channel or we haven't called the function and now okay so we've the master guns bot has joined a channel but he doesn't do anything he needs to listen for some port of its input again always pass self and while true and I kind of explained this above right here. This is an infinite loop. While true, we need a read buffer again. 
and this is the same as up here. So let's just copy it. For line in temp. Every so often, Twitch will send a ping message to you, and you just have to send pong back. So self dot socket dot send line dot replace. And we'll just replace ping with Pong. Send the same message right back. And again, encode that in UTF-8. And again, you only have to do UTF-8 if you're on Python 3. On Python 2, you do not. And then we'll, so then we'll split the line and figure out which, which lo loser, which user sent the message. So if I got user, so we're calling a, a method called get user, and then we'll also get the message. So get message line, and neither of those exist. So def get user, and we got a line input, so we can stick to line. Oops, self line is a string. And we're returning a string. So we're going to separate the line or split the line, line.split. And we're going to find the colon and two. Then user equals separate one dot split. And I got all this information from somebody else, so I'm kind of just copying it. So apparently, well, obviously separate is going to split wherever it finds this. What well, you know, each time it finds that and take two characters, I believe. And then the the so the separate is an array, but it's an array of arrays, so at index one of separate and then index zero of that is where you find the user. So we found the user, we just need to return it. And we're basically going to do the same thing for get message, except for this needs to be message and it's um, message equals separate, separate two. So the whole second index of separate is the message and return the message, but we're going to split or not strip split. We're going to write strip. We're going to take off the return carriage because we don't want to deal with that later. Okay. So back to listen. Now we can use this user and message variable. So basically now is where we get into the actual uh, botting. So like if we, in the example, if someone said hello, then Master Gunspot would send a message back. Send message. Um, hello and welcome to my stream and I'm gonna go copy my other config file that way you don't really I'm not sharing my configurations basically I'm not sharing my password and this may not work where's in it in it okay it'll work well it should work so then we'll go back to our driver and we'll hit F5 and it did not work so basically it's saying that this colon is incorrect, which it is. It should be at the end. We'll just delete that and save it. Try it again. Okay, and it still didn't connect, but it didn't give me an error. So then we can go into this, this uh, template folder and check the log. Socket is not a callable object. Oh, while we're here, we also didn't listen. So self.listen. Well, what is this? Self.open socket. 
but that's still not the issue. Yes, it is. Okay, it still didn't work. Okay, so apparently we messed this up. Yeah, because only the this part needs to be encoded. So they're messed up on all of them. Buffer is not defined. Buffer should be defined. All right, so I figured out what was wrong. We just didn't, in the constant stop PUI, we didn't change message out to buffer equals 1024. So right here when I called buffer, it didn't exist. So we're gonna try this again. And there we go. Master Guns bot has joined the channel. I can say hello, and he'll say hello and welcome to the channel. Now, you see up here, it says General Dave, hello and welcome to the channel. So what we can do is down here in these uh, send message, we have this user variable that we don't even use. We we'll just do user plus and then comma space and we'll rerun it. Master Guns bot will rejoin and if I say hello, General Dave, hello and welcome to my stream. Now I also like to um, point out profanities, so I'm not actually going to type profanities in here. Let's just say like now is a swear word, so is what, and you. We'll just say those are swear words. And so we can come down here where we have if message is hello elif or else if and then we're gonna return true by saying whether this or an array contains an element or not so we're gonna create this variable word and basically make a for each so if word for word in a message so if this were so every word in message Decide whether word is in profanity or not. And so if I don't use now what or you in any message, this will return an empty array, which is all, you know, pretty much false or none. Um, self dot send message. And again, we're going to send the message to the user. Um, we'll just say watch your language or something. It's not actually a, a you know, a moderator type bot. It's just warnings or responses. And so if we restart this, he's trying to channel again. We can still say hello. And did I add how? No. Oh, you. Okay. How are you? And it should have told me to watch my language. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So I figured out why that's not working. For word in message dot split. I forgot to make an array of words from the message to check it against. So we'll run this again. Joined it. Hello. General Dave, hello, and working my stream. How are you? General Dave, watch your language. Okay. So there we are. We have a fairly simple that I made a ton of mistakes on, but working Twitch bot. And so I, I hope you enjoyed this or got something out of it. If so, please do like and subscribe. If not, don't. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in future videos.